Good morning, Cloris. Good morning. Oh, and good morning. Sorry, Iris. How are you? Yeah, good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. So how are you feeling? Are you excited about going to England in a couple of weeks? Oh, yeah. We're definitely very excited. I mean, like for Mass Olympians, every competition feels just so special. But since like this is our last year doing this, so it feels like particularly meaningful. And we are really looking forward to make the most of this experience. And you've done it before, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Done it about... Oh, we actually represented Australia for four times up until now, I think. We've been to IMO last year. And we also represented Australia in the European Girls Mathematical Olympiad uh-huh. for three years uh-huh. in 2022, 2023, and this year. And yeah. so, but this isn't just for girls, this competition, is it? It's girls and boys, is that right? Oh, yeah. IMO is for both girls and boys. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And so I see that you've got special, uh, you know, hoodies on that already, <laughs> or the, it's like the kind of Olympic outfit, isn't yeah, it? Can yeah, you yeah, yeah. describe it to us? What's, on, what's embroidered on there? Yeah, so on the right side, we have A&T, so that's Australian Mass Trust, that's our organization. Yeah. And on the left side, we have the name of our competition and also that it's in the United Kingdom and it's also in 2024. Yeah. Yeah, that's so exciting. I mean, do you get nervous? Do you, are you in training at the moment? Yeah, yeah we're definitely doing a lot of preparations, like just yeah. doing problems every day. And we are all like, Kind of nervous and also pretty excited. <laughs> I have to tell um, the listeners that we asked you to send us a uh, a, a problem yeah. that we could share with them on the radio. Yeah. And honestly, it's so complicated, I can't Ooh. even read it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to just start with the, the question. Imagine you have a normal 8x8 eight eight chessboard. Does that mean 8x8 eight eight inches or 8x8 eight eight squares? 8x8 eight eight squares. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A rook can move any number of squares horizontally or vertically. It's easy to see that a rook can complete a tour of the whole chessboard, meaning it stops at each square exactly once, mm-hmm. for example. Just trace along each row, moving one square at a time. But here's a harder question. Can the rook do a tour where each move is at right angles to the one before? And here's the Olympiad level question. Find the dimensions of all possible chessboards for which such a right angle tour is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound a difficult problem to you? Um, actually, like, it's not that difficult. <laughs> Usually, IMO problems are of a slightly higher difficulty level. Uh, I so, imagine. yeah. Do you reckon that you are born good at maths or, <laughs> uh, or do you learn to be good at maths? Um, I think most people definitely learn to be good at math. Some yeah. people are naturally talented, but I think most math Olympians now are just like do a lot of practice and they spend a yeah. lot of time working on these problems and building their problem solving toolkit and skills. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Close? Yeah, I think being able to solve math Olympia problems is like a skill, not necessarily <laughs> like, I don't know, a talent. Uh-huh, so you yeah. definitely need to put in a lot of efforts. Maybe like someday you can get a uh, represent Australia <laughs> on the internet. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So do you compete with each other? Are you competitive? Ooh, Ooh. I, I won't say we're competitive. Well, we're kind of competitive in a domestic level, like in Australia, but like outside of Australia on international scales, we're definitely more of teammates rather than competitors. That's yeah. so great. But what if one of you wins and the other one doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> How will that be? Yeah, I guess we'll just congratulate each other. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, when we spoke to Kevin Lin last week, who's going to the Chemistry Olympiad, mm. yeah. uh, I just asked him you know, where he might be using his skills in the future, and he said he's already collaborating on trying to build a new uh, battery, a storage battery yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for solar power and the like. I wonder what you want to use your math skills for in the future. Oh, we're definitely thinking about going into research, like regarding the real world issues that could be solved with math. Re- like, real world issues. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for example, like we are actually in a research project now. It is happening in UNSW and it's about the mathematical topic of fractals. Fractals yeah. basically are shapes that are similar to itself and it is both like very aesthetically pleasing <laughs> in some circumstances and also very beneficial to our use, uh, real world uses because um, actually a lot of things like in nature can be modeled by fractals such as for example our neuron structure in the human body yeah. like the branching of our, of our heart and even our lungs so by learning like more about these structures we can actually gain a better understanding about like these parts of our body which would really help in a study of disease so yeah that's definitely a direction that we would like to explore oh that's so fantastic 
Thank you so much for coming in, Iris and Cloris. It's been an absolute delight to meet you. I'm completely uh, in awe of your <laughs> skills and your talent. Thank you. Yes, All thank the very you. best. We wish you a great deal of luck, but you probably don't even need luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you.